how to export your FLA as an MP4 video. Specifically MP4 because MP4 is a universal video format that's something you can put on your phone and you can upload to YouTube, to your TikToks, whatever. All right, once you're in your animate folder, go to file, you want to tell to export and then export video, not the movie. I get those confused all the time. When you do that, it's going to give you a pop-up window. It's going to ask you some questions. What size do you want it? Uh, we're going to we're not going to generate an alpha channel. That's if we wanted to do something see-through in the background. Uh, make sure that you see here Adobe Media Encoder, and we're going to tell it where to save this file on the browse. So if you click on your browse button, I'm going to tell this to put it on my desktop. Keep that .mov on it, and I'm going to change this as my last name, first name, and then remember, y'all are doing your deal as advice. I'm going to call this dance because this is a dance video, and I'm going to tell it to save it. It's going to export as an MOV and tell it to export. Once it does that, it's going to export the movie, and then it's going to tell it to show up in Adobe Media Encoder. Animate does not have the engine that is used to convert the file into an MP4. So what Adobe has done is it has included a program called Adobe Media Encoder that's part of the whole Adobe package. I've already done this once before because I screwed up the first video. So if you'll notice, here is where you can get your files from. Here are the presets that you have access to. Here's my video right here that I want to do, and it says it's ready. And it has, it's given it that my last name, first name, dance, MP4. Um, if you click on the first four, it gives you several different formats. I can even export this as an animated GIF. Just be aware that if you export your movie as an animated GIF, that it will not include sound. If I click under this preset under custom, and y'all are just going to keep it on its default, this is where it makes sense. Are you going to put it on a mobile device? Are you going to put it on Twitter? Are you going to put it on Vimeo? Uh, Really, the ones that you need to be concerned with, the ones that I use the most, are these YouTube ones. 480 is going to be smaller, standard, SD is standard definition, HD is high definition, and then 4K Ultra HD. One, whenever you export your file, be aware of what the output is going to be. If you're on your phone, you don't need to have it 4K Ultra HD. You can if you want to, but the quality is going super high quality, super large size, depending on what size, how much uh, space you have on your phone. When you're ready, you've picked your format, and y'all don't need to mess with that. Just keep it a custom. Um, click the play button right here. It's going to tell it that it's going to run the queue, which means it's going to render it as an MP4. So it takes that MOV that was exported in Animate, and it converts it to an MP4. When it's completely done, it'll add a check mark, and then that's that's it. If you want to see your file, it's not going to give you something special that says, hey, 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 look what I just did. Um, it's just going to finish it. So if I take a look here in my uh, Finder window and I go on my desktop, my MOV that Animate put out gave me a file of 517 megabytes. That's half a gig. So think about how many gigs you have on your phone. And then when, when it's exported and compresses an MP4, now it's only 13.9 uh megabytes so that makes a big difference if this is the file that i want you to send, upload to the google assignment this one and the fla and if you want to put one on your phone so you can show your friends this is the one that you put on your phone and that's how you export a file in an fla to an mp4